Hey everybody, my name is Guardo and welcome to episode 6 of this Minecraft vlog. This is a survival let's play and I'm using an iPad to make this all happen. I've been doing some work off camera and this house situation is really driving me crazy. I've been wasting far too much time constantly trying to find things, reorganize things. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade a little bit here for efficiency reasons. This is going to be a bit of a process and require a lot of materials. So I'm going to go off camera, chop up a bunch of wood, get a bunch of other materials that we're going to need, uh, probably make a bunch of glass after I shovel up some sand, and I'll be back shortly. And here we are. I've been chopping down a lot of trees. I've been also... Here's the little chest I filled up with some stuff. I'm actually probably going to need a whole lot more oak wood. I don't have a lot of oak wood trees over here. I was chopping them down, planting them, creating a little oak wood farm at the same time. And unfortunately, oak wood is going to be a huge, huge contribution to this house. Now, I've been messing around with dirt to uh, go over placement. I extended the back out, adding some dirt. Now I'm going to replace these dirt blocks that I had measured out. I'm going to replace them with uh, oak, oak wood logs. And these are basically going to be, I'm going to utilize this as like the accent piece to the house. I did this in odd numbers, so in between, in the front part here, we have oak wood log, and then we have three blocks, and then another oak wood log. And then on the sides, I kind of mixed it up with odd amounts. And on the back side, I just kind of plopped it right in the middle. So on the sides we have a section of five blocks and then three. On the other side I did it opposite. Three blocks in the front and five in the back. And in the front I got three sections of three blocks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a foundation down. And this is going to be See, there's three blocks there, and then there, this should even out. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five. There we go. That's perfect. This is going to be the foundation. I'm going with cobblestone because cobblestone gives a awesome kind of look to the foundation when you're looking at the house from the sides. Now, I'm having a little bit of a brain fart here. I'm almost worried that my dimensions that I calculated are going to be off. So I'm just trying to double check things here. One, two, three, five, six, one, two, three. This works, guys. I had spent a decent amount of time trying to figure the math out on this. My build is inspired by a bunch of different things that I've seen on Instagram, a couple <laughs> house builds in on YouTube. Uh, but what I'm going for is a house that has high efficiency on getting things done because we all know that Minecraft can be super distracting when you come in here. There's always something to do, but what I want to basically do is just be able to handle what I need to get done in a timely fashion without having to run all over the place and get distracted by everything. So, I'm going to fill in the foundation here, and then take a look at it, and we should have a nice amount of usable space. 
It's going to be two stories tall. Just had to grab some more cobble wood, uh, uh, cobblestone. And now we could finish off this foundation. And now that we have that finished off, we have a nice platform here. Let's go ahead. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is bring up the oak wood logs. We're going to bring them up uh, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm probably going to take a lot of fall damage on this. I'm doing this on an, an iPad. It's not not exactly the most efficient way to build so you might see me making silly mistakes or doing silly things out of sheer laziness like jumping off these pillars as I build them up and here we are all the pillars are complete nightfall is happening so we're gonna go ahead place this crafting table down grab a bed set it up right over here and hopefully no mobs spawn while we're doing this. Ooh. This just be an additional headache that we don't want to deal with. Come on, come on, come on. And there we are. Nighty night. Alright. We're going to start with the birchwood planks. I'm going to make a bunch of them, a couple stacks, because this is what I'm going to use as the walls all the way around for the uh, bottom level. And being that we have them in nice three by three sections in the front, we could put a lovely little window and it'll all be pretty symmetrical. I'm going to raise all these walls up and get things going so this will actually start to look like something. I'm going to be a little bit slow on this so bear with me. Let's just finish up the first window here and move right along to the door. Notch out a nice little door frame here. Get a parkour here a little bit. See if we can make this jump. Yes. So on this side and the other side is going to be the window. In the middle, what I just uh, parkoured over, that's going to be the front door. And then we're going to um, put our walls up over here. They're going to go along this whole edge of the slab all the way down and uh, on the other side as well. And guys, I, I honestly hope this works out. <laughs> this is kind of a hodgepodge of house plans and things that I've seen. So I'm kind of hoping it works out. Um, there's only one way to find out. Uh, awesome thing about Minecraft is that we could always innovate and figure things out as we go if needed. And here we are. All the walls are up. Things are looking good. Symmetrical. We got our door. We're nice in the middle. The calculations worked out. The roof should come out okay. I'm definitely feeling more confident about this build now. Now let's put some windows in. I just took a whole bunch of glass, made some glass panes. And we'll put the windows nicely right in the middle. Things are looking good with that. The door's going to be on that one. So then we'll put the other window up here. And let's take a look from the inside just to make sure that we have that right. And you know something that's not actually right I need to move it up one because I'm going to have a floor go down on top of the cobblestone so we're actually going to be up one so that should take care of that and let's put the windows in I like using just the panes instead of the actual full block of window and plus you save on glass doing it this way now let's take a look outside and see how things are coming along we have a little bed 
Oh, we got an extra piece that fell out the window before. All right, not bad. Looking good. Let's see how the sides could we throw. Let's get a window up on this side. Right in the min middle, we gotta remember. Yeah, we busted our axe on the last one. Gotta remember to bring it up that extra spot. And how's the back gonna look? Let's see. We're gonna give the back. You know what we'll do? I think. Let's see how one level looks, but I'm thinking that we might actually notch it out six blocks and give it a nice view because that the sun the sun sit when the sun sets it's a sweet view kind of one of the reasons why I picked this spot I'll try this single row first but I'm honestly probably gonna just change that to a double row in the meantime let's Take care of the sides. Go on the other side. Do the same thing. We'll notch out a nice window here. Throw the panels in there. I guess things are starting to come along really well. You know what? I can't even see that. I think I'm going to need to get that f bottom floor. I think I might go ahead and put the floor in now so I could see that a little better I really don't look I've, I'm honestly I don't I really don't like the way that that looks see there goes the sunset I want to be able to have a nice view of that and I think that is going to do the trick yeah, that's definitely going to make a big difference. Let's do the same thing on each side. Make things look nice and even. And let's go ahead and get some sleep before anything tries bothering us. Alrighty, top of the morning. Now let's take a look at our creation. Let's see. Things are coming along really well with this. I'm actually super excited about it look at this let's get a side view look at this beautiful thing coming along alright now let's go ahead and throw some flooring in there for the floor we're gonna go with oak, oak wood planks just to change the color up a little bit I'd prefer dark oak wood planks but I don't have that so I'm gonna just utilize what I have at the moment maybe change things up later on throw these down all right and we got the last few pieces now that we have a nice oak wood floor I th you know what I gotta change this actually this is actually gonna look a little bit different I think I'm gonna bring the door out a little bit but for now I'm gonna I'm just gonna take the whole wall down that we can get started on building a front porch. I always like having a front porch on my builds. I believe it adds a nice little extra accent. Now to get started on the porch, we're going to use cobblestone to go down first. Let's see. I might bring it out all the way, actually. Originally, I was not going to, but let's check it out. Let's see how this works. We're not going to bring it out too far. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, bring it about this far. This should work out well. Wow, that was perfect. Do you see that? Perfecto. Oh, yeah, there goes my perfection. Oh, uh, yeah, all messed up now. Let's knock these out. Put that down there. And you know what? Let's see. If we 
bring it all the way out. Yeah, it does kind of look. Yeah, that might work. Let's uh, take let's take a look here. All right, so we have a nice wide front door. For the rest, we're gonna need to make some stone slabs. Where that's what I'm gonna put down a bunch of stone bricks on top of the cobblestone give it a nice look again the cobblestone is to a, going to appear as the foundation this is going to be just the, the flooring I'm a big fan of stone bricks. I don't know why. I just think it's pretty cool. And you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of that row because I'm going to put some plants down there after we're all said and done. That'll be a nice little planting area to go around the porch. And let's finish this off. And here we have it. Now we can go ahead and notch out a nice little staircase here in the middle. Three wide. Now we're going to bring this back one more row. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a cobblestone set of stairs and also a stone brick set of stairs so let's go ahead and make those fit them in nicely our porch is starting to come along Whoop, wow perfect we got one extra to spare and here we have our nice little porch coming along nice view of the beach let's um you know what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna accent this front door I think what I'm gonna do is frame this out in oak wood log create a nice little frame around it and then throw some birch wood planks in there I think that'll give it a nice little boost Let's see how this comes out. Alright, where's our birch wood? Here we are. Boom, boom, boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. And now we'll finish that. We'll complete that off with an oak wood door. A dark oak wood door would look really good on this. I'm gonna have to go find some dark oak wood. But for now, we're going to roll with this. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That is looking good. Not bad, not bad at all. <clears throat> Although that's, uh... Look at this view, man. I am super happy with this so far. This is nice and roomy. We're going to be able to do a lot of activities over here. The slab is driving me nuts. Let's take this out and put a, a wood here. I saw... I've In the past, I've, I've put a crafting table in that spot. But that just drives me nuts. It's kind of a cool little trick. So you have your cat. You always know where the crafting table is in the house. Now for some railings. Let's throw up some oak wood railings. The only thing that's going to stink about having that pillar as an accent is that fence is going to stick to it. So we're going to bring these all the way around to the edge there. Whoop, one more. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And that wouldn't work. And we're out. Let's make some more real quick.
quick. It looks like we are going to need to farm more resources. I'll handle that in a few minutes. In the meantime, let's finish off this. This railing. And let's throw it there too. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to bring it up because we're going to have the roof come out over this railing. So what we're going to want to do is bring the railing on the corner up one. We actually had to go up one more but we ran out of resources so I made more fence. And we're bringing it, we're going to do it on each of the corners. And then now let me go ahead. Whoop. That didn't work. Chop that down. Let's go ahead and bring it up. That extra one that we need to bring it up. Can we knock out them both on the one? Oh, yep. There we go. Well, that's pretty interesting. Didn't know you could do that with fence. You can make for a nice cage looking thing. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night. So nothing bothers us, and here we are. Beautiful morning. Now we could finish off adding those pieces to the top porch, getting it ready for the roof. One more on each side. That that should do it. Now with only a few oak wood logs left. I think I might actually have to start gathering more resources before we can go any further. I really wanted to try to put some sort of window on top of that frame, that door frame. Kind of like a skylight window, but I don't know if that's going to work out. Let's, let's hop up there. We got some cobblestone. Let's hop up there real quick, check that out. See if we could actually make something happen with the, the little oak wood that we have left. Worst comes to worst, we'll just put this whole thing on hold for a second while I go and gather some more resources. Now, let's see. How could we make this work without messing up the second level if we put that there maybe we could have a shelf um, let's throw it over the block here guys I'm sorry I'm just trying to envision the roof working okay as well as the second level that's actually right where I put those logs I want to put glass so let me let me knock these logs out and you know what it I'm not gonna have enough logs to work on this I'm gonna actually have to go and get some more resources and come back to this all right, now I have a nice stack of oak wood logs. Let's hop back up here and figure out the best route for this. I think what I might actually do... Honestly, I'm not even really sure what I'm actually going to do here. Because the more that I look at this and try and figure out how, because I, I don't want to mess up the outline of the roof or the flooring for the second floor so I don't know that this skylight that I'm trying to put in here is actually worth all of the trouble but I always like a good challenge so I'm gonna pause this skylight for a moment and finish the outline of the frame going around the house. Basically, I'm going to raise that up one 
and then put a frame of oakwood logs going all around the border. Alright, now that we've finished that up, I just remembered that after I had farmed a bunch of resources, I forgot to plant some trees. So I'm going to go ahead and run and plant these trees really quickly so that I'll have some more wood, being that I'm running low on it already. Alright, about a dozen trees planted. Now let's go mess around with this skylight. I don't have too many logs, but I should have enough to finish this off. See if this is going to work out correctly. <clears throat> so I'm going to raise that up and bring it over. Raise the other pillar up, and now we should have a nice row in the middle that we could put some glass panels in. Let's see. Yep, right there. All right, let's throw some glass in here. All right, and it looks like we have ourselves a skylight. And for our next order of business, what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, you know what, that's what I'm going to go ahead and knock out. On each of the pillars that I made, what we're going to do is we're going to put some stairs, put some stairs upside down to give off the effect like that there's a brace that's going to be holding it up and that's going to be to set up the second floor so let's go ahead and grab these stairs this is going to be a little bit difficult being that we're doing this on an ipad not a computer so i'm really gonna to have to play around with this to get these to sit right there we go that one up there and I'm just basically gonna go around the whole house and put these up and this is the last one I had to go and make some more steps let's get those there boom all right now we have all the braces up now what we're gonna go and do is start framing out the top I have a lot I, I'm not I don't have a lot of uh, oak wood logs to do this so I'm really just gonna get started here but basically on each of these braces we're gonna raise it up a couple blocks about five blocks and start making the second floor this way and we're gonna go from brace to brace to do this and it looks like yep that's gonna be the last one alright so I'm going to need to go and farm some more oak and to finish off the rest of these braces. And I'm back with almost a stack of oak. It should be enough to make it. Well, at least to finish off the rest of these pillars. And it looks like... Yeah, let's just continue on where we left off. So I'm going to go ahead and bring all these pillars up to the same level and here we are the last one let's bring that up Four, five. Oh, it looks like we took this one up a little too high let's chop that down and in between scenes I also was harvesting a bunch of wool from the sheeps that we have because this is going to be a main thing that I'm going to use as walls for the upstairs I like the way that the white gives off a kind of more of a cottage look and I'm going to try to use I'm probably gonna fall a lot on this I'm gonna try to use the wool as sparringly as possible so upstairs I'm gonna have a bunch of big windows sorry I had to make a food run because I'm gonna be taking a bunch of fall damage now throw a window here then I'm just going to go around the rest of the house here, put a bunch of wool walls up, and here we have it, the last wall, oh, last wall, last windows, we have walls on the second floor, now we're going to need to start to put this roof on. 
And as our entire house is getting soaked here because we don't have a roof, we're going to start off putting it on the porch because this is going to be rather interesting on how to connect this. And basically, I'm just going to use oak wood slabs. I'm going to put them on each of the posts that I had created much earlier in the game. And uh, just continuing them down the line here. Whoop, that was a failed part four attempt. Is there a staircase there. Uh, let's see if we could get ourselves to go. Uh, that's not going to work. Here we go. Back in action. Alright. I'm just going to continue trucking along. And I am going to extend them out on the ends. Um, probably, I'm going to bring it out one for now. But I think I might even go one more. To give it a little bit of a better look. I'm going to see how things come along when I add this one. And here we are. I made a second level of slabs and I ran into my first snag. Ideally what I was going to do was put another row of slabs but that's not going to work out because of the space here. It just is not working out for me. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to use some stairs and see how that looks. Hopefully that doesn't look too bad. but. Just put some slabs there, that might work. What's really gonna stink is that I have a bad feeling that we're about to cover something up that I was working so hard. Yep. We might have to come by another time and fix that. Or else we're gonna spend all day building this house. All right, here we go. The porch looks all right. Still kind of sad about the skylight. For the side view upstairs is looking okay. Here's the back view. We're definitely gonna have to fix this beach to make it look more like a beach. But yeah, this is this is coming together nicely. I'm actually quite proud of myself. Now for the roof, we are going to basically put a layer of oak wood slabs all around the side of the house well, all around the, the top frame of the house and this is what I'm going to use to build the roof off of so I'm going to place these all around and now that we have that set up I could start making the roof I'm using stairs to do this probably going to use stairs the whole way across and up the sides might, depending on how we how things work out as we get towards the top, might need to stick in slabs here and there. But this I'm basically going to figure out along the way. And I'm really hoping this is all going to work out. Alright, this is the exciting part. I framed out one side of it to make sure that the roof and everything met perfectly. And sure enough... Sure enough, it did. So this is working out. Oh, whoop, double step here. This actually worked out perfect, as you can see. We got an arch on that side. And this, this just, I'm super excited. Now, now I'm really excited about this place because I was really hoping it was going to work out. And didn't exactly map out the entire thing. This was kind of winging this part. And it worked. Sweet. Very nice. And I just want to say, after I finish off these last few pieces, now that the roof is basically finished, this is just my pillar column to get back up here. I want to say that it's a good thing I'm not a roofer in real life because I've fell off this thing at least a dozen times, almost died, got down to one heart one time, and uh, yeah, I'm 
just not very good on top of a roof. But we did we did finish that that roof and now I just need to get down and tidy up all the little mistakes that I made here and there. There is one other part that I want to show you as I'm cleaning up the construction site. On the overhang of the roof, I throw upside down stairs. It really gives it a nice little touch. And I probably sound like a noob, but this is the probably the third time I've ever built a house of this size. And my other ones didn't look anything like this. So this is a pretty big accomplishment for me. And there we have it, the side of the house. Look at that. Looks very nice with those, the way that we put the steps. Arch is beautiful. And uh, let's just continue tidying up the rest of the construction site. We got hanging stairs all over the place. So I'm going to pillar up, take care of those, and clean uh, the rest of the place up. And here we have it cleaned up finished up the other side arch looking good let's go ahead and move the bed and the crafting table inside place this there that there and as you can see I lit the place up nicely so that we don't have to worry about anything spawning in here and now let's take a look from the outside this is absolutely beautiful I love it let's get a screenshot so we can throw that up on Instagram let's take a look from the side <laughs> I am super excited about this this is this is probably one of the first times that I've done something on this scale and for it to actually come out very nicely it's uh, pretty exciting to me this is gonna make an awesome addition to our little town here and uh, make a wonderful beach house we still have a whole lot to do inside this episode's already getting long so i'm going to just hop inside this house i see the sun setting i want to see how it looks out the window look at this this is a beautiful view right out of the bed oh my goodness we got our little sugarcane farm flourishing out there beach front property sun setting in the background look at this it doesn't get any better. Let's get a screenshot of that. All right, it looks like we'll, we'll actually be able to sleep in the house for the first night. But first, let's run outside and see if we can catch a picture of that sunset on the side of the house. We still have this pig. Oh, if he stays in the picture, stay in the picture. Oh, man. it's It, it was quite hilarious, actually. I took a picture of the sun setting before the house and when the pig was in the picture. A couple people reposted that picture on Instagram. I thought that was hilarious. All right, here we are. First night sleeping in the house. What a day. What a day that was. All right, guys, and that's going to finish off this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any pointers, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. And most importantly, thank you for watching.